Um, I think we have more quality and depth, or at least I think we do right now, you know, as we finish out camp. Uh, the defensive line is a place where I like where our depth is headed, those guys just growing up and maturing, and, and, and uh, it's a highly competitive deep group. It's a great group, very, very athletic, very physical, um, versatile, you know, getting in and out of three, three down and four down looks with those guys is, 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 is great. Um, you know, I think that's a place where we'll have some tough decisions, um, and then uh, everything else is kind of, you know, I would say kind of normal. You know, there's a couple guys this time of year. It's it's there's always a couple guys that are slam dunk red shirts, so there's always a couple guys that are going, man, this guy in five, six, seven weeks, what's he going to look like? Those are the those are the hard ones. Who are the hardest uh, names if, when you're looking at who to red shirt, who not to? Who are some of the hardest players that you're having that time with? Well, uh, I mean, the easiest one of a guy that you know just got here, Joe Lemoy, in terms of just uh, you, know, you can see where he's headed, and, and I mean, a big, fast, athletic guy that, that, that just doesn't know every, you know, just doesn't know what he's doing yet, and that's not not his fault necessarily. Uh, and, and some guys, uh, especially the young guys, you get through this, uh, the, the just all the install, all that stuff that's that's kind of on this on their shoulders. And then that's off, and now they're just playing, and they, they're playing just freely. Uh, you know, the, the, the rate that that happens kind of determines their fate. Yesterday, John Neal was saying that Ugo Amadi is showing flashes of EFO. Um, is can you make that comparison of even a freshman to they're freshman year? Number fourteen, they're both uh, I think from the, French, well, the same tribe, so that's can make that connection. Uh, he, he's done some really good things. You know, I think EFO has a you know. A lot in, in his corner, uh, as far as what's what's been, you know, what's really happened on the field, and, and again, his potential, absolutely, his physical, he can, you know, he can run, he can, he can flip his hips really well, and so that those comparisons will be will be natural. Overall, heading, heading into the scrimmage, do you have a pretty good idea of what the depth chart looks like, at least from starters and number twos, things like that? Yeah, uh, I mean, for the most part, of you know, who's gonna who's gonna play the lion share of, of, of where. We have a bunch of guys that are going to rotate in in a few spots, which is which is a good thing. Um, and then there's there's still a bunch, uh, a ton up for grabs in, in special teams. I think we've got a lot of young guys that contribute, can contribute in special teams, not necessarily just the true freshmen, but, but red shirts and a few of the first year guys. Uh, and, and we'll definitely have that on full display tomorrow.